receivers both left and right. Let's see a little Williams action. Yeah. 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 I don't quite I don't quite get the Bellingham hitting philosophy right now outside the Kristen. And Ellis keeps it alive. At this time I could like to invite all the uh, senior parents down to the 50 yard line right on the track. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Senior Night for your 2015 Medfield Warriors as they take on the Westwood Wolverines. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate the seniors on both teams and wish them the very best in all their future endeavors. First, I'd like to congratulate Westwood, Jared, Adam, Jacob, Michael, Connor, David, Kyle, John, William, Rafi, and Chase, congratulations to you seniors. And now for your Medfield Warriors. First, number six, Sam Denny, joined on the field by his parents, Mark and Wendy. Number seven, Sam Nauman, joined by Paul and Caroline. Number nine for the Warriors, John Patrick. You can call him J.P. Harrison. Joined on the field by Bob and Rachel. Number 15 for the Warriors, Patrick Baker, joined in the field by parents Paul and Chris. Number 17 for the Warriors, Connor Carodi. Joined on the field by Greg and Colleen. And little brother. <laughs> Senior number 23, Josh Previtt. Joined on the field by Dave and Erica. And now for our three wonderful managers. First off, Jake Berger. Joined on the field by David and Jennifer. Next up, Joe Hurley. Joined by Tim and Liz. Senior Colin McQuillan. Joined by Dave and Krista.
And now for your three captains. In goal, number 99, Matt Johnson. Turn on the field by Tripp and Heidi. Captain number 16, Kevin McCordick. Join the field by Craig and Lisa. but certainly not least, captain number 12, Brendan Thompson. Joined on the field by Chris and Krista. And again, how about a nice round of applause for the seniors on both teams. Good luck to both teams and uh, have fun out there. Play well. Welcome to Varsity Soccer. It is Medfield versus Westwood. And we are at Medfield's home turf. It's senior night here for Medfield. Yeah, the Medfield lineup is based mostly seniors. Some other underclassmen sprinkled in there. It's a good attack. From Medfield. Patrick Baker with a pass to Sam Denny. Take it to the corner. Attempted give and go there. Still Medfield's ball. Into JP. JP with a shot in. So a handball on JP. Westwood will kick it out of there on 18. It's a sizable kick. That's Connor Carodi, and it's going to be a midfield throw in. Davis White is taking the throw in. He's got quite a long throw. Look at that one. That's a wallop. <laughs> Brennan White, a freshman, broke up that attack by Westwood. One of the few underclassmen on the field right now. He has really made something of himself in his first year on the team. Hopefully they'll be able to cultivate it through the next three years. That's going to be a Westwood free kick here. It'll be on the 35. And Connor Crody kicks it out. Told me before the game his goal today was to boot it out of his area more than a few times, and I think he... Uh, <laughs> He's quite acting upon that. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, a cheeky attempt by Westwood, but Maybe it goes right out. Throw. I shall throw Brennan White. Off the back of Denny. Oh, let's see. Davis White. And he is not able to close that one down. Westwood on the attack. That's it's going to be a and penalty. That's, that's a penalty for Westwood. An it's a good call, I think. Davis yeah. kind of clipped his back foot there. An unwise tackle by Davis White. Hopefully, Matt will be able to bounce back. Chance for senior Matt Johnson to prove himself here. And yeah, Matt Johnson stopped a few penalty shots in this, in this season. Hopefully, he'll be able to, hopefully he'll be able to stop another one. Runs up, and he misses it. Wide, wide left. left. Wow. 
the pressure really got to him there. Yeah. I don't see too many times uh, a missed penalty, but Medfield definitely got away with one there. Davis with a pretty pretty dirty tackle, but uh, got away without letting the goal in. Stays 0-0. Zero, zero. Many of the seniors are being subbed out right now. Notable subs are Jarrett Lee, Marshall Bushnell, and Matt Conroy, all juniors. As well as I'll, Jack Fitzgerald, who is also a junior. And all of them are typical first team players for the most part, so seems to be back to a more basic lineup for midfield. Jack Fitzgerald with a great stop. Quick throw from Westwood, but it's cut out there by that was Brendan Thompson. Indeed it was. At least sending one through. Can JP get to it? I think. Ooh, and, the be... and the Westwood goalie kicks it out. And out of bounds, it'll be a midfield throw. Jack Fitzgerald throws it in, looking for his options. And he sees Brendan White. White on the run. Into the corner, Jarrett Lee. He stops it short, puts it in. Ooh, it tended for Kevin McCordick. There's Connor just heading it over to Davis. Smart header there. Has some time. And he clears it he wide. Boots it's it up. Gonna be a Westwood oh. throw. <coughs> so be a midfield throw. Brendan White will take it to Jarrett Lee. Ooh, a nice little dink to Jack Fitzgerald. Ooh, and Westwood stops that idea. Cut out well by Brandon. Uh, took a tip off him and his a Westwood throw. Um, that's an open Westwood player right there. Powerful throw there by, I think that was Davis. Westwood creating a chance right here into the midfield at half. Mm. There's another Ooh. boot out by Connor. Not quite as good as the last one. But he's still making good on his promise. And that's safe defending there from Bushnell. Throw-in by Westwood. Hopefully they, will, they think they'll be able to make a chance on this. A long throw in. Ooh, it's right into the center and Kevin McCordick. Headed away by Kevin, but they can still do something here. Westwood getting into the box. It's well defended by Connor, just putting his body in the line there. And that'll be a West, uh, Westwood corner. Westwood corner, they seem to be just wanting to boot it into the box. No short play here. Ooh, and out oh. by Kevin Kordick again. Chance for midfield to counter here through Jack Fitzgerald. Sends it to Jet. Westwood tracking back quickly here. They'll need to make the most of it and it's Ooh, cut and out it's, by Westwood. It's a through ball for Jack Fitzgerald, you see? Oh, and gonna the clear Westwood that. boy just clears it out to the half. I would like to note that it is the largest crowd I think Medfield Soccer has seen this entire season. It's a great time and a great opponent. A great game. Hopefully we'll have a great result here in Medfield. I believe that was another clear by Brennan Thompson. Almost step in by Jack Fitzgerald and he keeps going, but Jack Fitzgerald then clears it. Ball still in play though. Can Westwood make anything here? Down the line. 
miscued pass, and it should be a chance for Medfield to counter. Ooh, Kevin just shoots it up the field. Hopefully, J.P. Harrison will be able to make something of it. Hopefully, J.P. Harrison is the lone striker up top. A lot of pressure on him to finish his chances if he gets many. Hopefully, the, the numerous players in midfield will be able to create some chances for J.P., and he'll be able to tuck those away. I mean, midfield throw here. Davis going to hopefully utilize that long throw he has, get it I into have, the I box. I have seen it many times throw it right into the goalie. <laughs> it definitely it has a blessing happened. and a burden. And he does so. Push now with a chance here. It's going to be out for a Westwood goal kick. Thought it took a deflection, so not sure what the call is. I believe it's a goal kick for Westwood. Not quite and sure about that call. Look to have taken a deflection, but the ref's word is the ref's word, so. Can't argue that, especially in high school soccer. <laughs> Encouraging words from Connor there. Connor Crody is always vocal back in the back defense. I don't think anyone would argue the fact that he is probably the loudest on the team. He's the most encouraging and the most polite. Uh, very <laughs> much so. Yeah. Always polite, talking to the refs. You can hear him. Never always hostile. say please and thank you. Thank you. Chance for Johnson to pump this one in. Oh, very subtle Good pump. pump. Past the half. I believe that'd be a good punt for any professional NFL punter. <laughs> we'll see how he does in soccer, and then maybe that's an option. Yeah. Come well, forth, making a chance. Chet, Jarrett Lee with a shot in, and it's blocked. Ooh, hopefully they'll be able to... Still have a chance here. Good communication. Ooh. They all seem to be bunched up there. Brennan White straight White. back in. Good one-touch play here from Medfield. I'm sure he'll be playing to the corner to Jarrett. See if you can make anything here. Ooh, and short right ball in. And you seem to be fouled. Balls in to JP. Ooh, and the Westwood defender just right there. And back to Jack Fitzgerald. Kevin McCormick. Oh, and it was a great save. Quite easy save also for the Westwood goalie. I don't, don't know if you can hear, but the Medfield uh, fan sections are getting pretty excited here. A lot of chances early on for Medfield. Hopefully they can capitalize on them soon. And maybe another one here, Kevin down the left wing. Kevin is the speediest player, I believe, on the uh, varsity team. Definitely up there. Another chance for Davis to utilize that long throw he has. I think he will do. Straight into the box. A chance here for JP. Ooh, and the West will go with stops him again. Definitely a good chance there. Seeing a lot of, a lot of opportunities come off a of Davis White throw, so. See if we can uh, get some more of that in the future. Nice, nice head up, and it just goes straight to the Westwood defender. Jarrett Lee, nice touch Ooh, on nice. Fitz, taking it down the right wing. They seem to have a really good connection right now in this game. Plenty of one touch, just plenty of passes from each other. It was a Westwood goal kick. Definitely a good idea there. Very promising stuff. Hopefully they can keep this going for the rest of the game. The hype surrounding this game was very intense here on Tuesday. A lot of uh, excitement toward the end of the day for this game, and yep. definitely excited to be watching it right now. Another great communication there from Fitz and Jet. It has been real fun watching this team over the course of the season. Definitely going to be sad when it's over. Chance for JP on the header. It's going to be a Westwood goal kick. Ooh, uh, just a short little bounce from the Westwood goalkeeper. Leave it up, and it goes right out of bounds. That's a midfield throw. Davis White, let's we'll see if he utilizes that long throw again. 
Maybe he'll try to recharge. Oop, okay. Doesn't look like it. Unless that's his short throw. Yeah, <laughs> that quite possibly could. You know, Marsh Bush now getting bodied off the ball. Another chance for Connor to send it the other way. He's just going to settle it and pass it. Ooh, very nice idea. And it's out for a midfield throw. Smart defending there from Connor. Mm, that's a. Ooh. Safe defending there again. Went right out of bounds. It's a Westwood throw. Kevin making a run down the left wing. Ooh, Brennan gives it to him. Do you think Kevin can get there? I believe he can. But he can. Ooh. So it's just That's out. a corner. It's going to be a mid goal kick. Westwood oh. goal kick. Sometimes the ref's hands do confuse me. <laughs> we'll see if they use that short pass again. The midfield strikers should be paying attention for it because definitely a gifted opportunity if they can jump on it. Midfield defense seems to be reading the Westwood offense pretty well. They tend to shift over and wherever they need to be instantly. Westwood attack. Good footwork from the Westwood player. Good footwork, but it doesn't really get him anywhere further. They just kind of put him backwards. That's all you really, really need to do as a defense. Great defense. I believe that was. I think that was Matt Conroy with the stop, and Westwood right back in the attack. So Westwood throw in off of J.P. Harrison. Chance here. And a good shot. Yeah, that was high. And a very powerful shot. It was. Luckily, it was over the bar, though, and Matt Johnson will have another goal kick. We'll see if Connor Curry can read that, uh, that Westwood Strikers. Not happy with that one. Yeah. Oh, you guys got that. Lack of communication yeah. there from Bushnell and uh, Fitzgerald. They seem to both be back and away. Ooh, a great touch by Jarrett Lee. He seems to be getting bodied there. And if you cannot JP hear, you can still have something here. Ooh. Oh, it's a good save there. Shot was right at the Westwood goalie, and it's going to be a midfield corner. Definitely still a chance here from the corner. The midfield crowd, if you cannot hear, is getting real. The crowd is getting very excited. Hopefully, they'll be getting even more excited. It's a short, short corner. Yep. Fitzgerald plays it in. Ooh, and so Kevin comes out only as far player. as Davis, though, who can definitely do something here. It was speed, stops that ball before it goes out. Very good hustle there. It's going to be right. a midfield throw. I'm sure Davis will utilize his lengthy throw again. Always a threat with Davis White as the uh, throw in taker. Oh, so it's just a matter of midfield getting their head on the ball first, and it seems Westwood got their head on the ball first. It's going to be a Free kick on midfield? I believe so. I'm not sure if I agree with that call, but it's not my job. Again, the rest word is the rest word. <laughs> Can't do much about it. Oop, that's a foul. I believe that was on Davis White, if I'm not mistaken. And pretty questionable call there. He was just standing still and got run into, but, uh, you know. Can't do much about it. Nope. And we are quite a distance away. Maybe he did lay a hand on him or something. We can't really tell from up here, but yeah, not going to complain too much. They have definitely have a chance here. Westwood whips it in. It's a beautiful touch there. Ooh, and Matt Johnson answers the question. <laughs> Oh, 
that goes straight to a Westwood player. Headfield definitely have to get to the ball there. He can't put it right at a midfield base foot every time, so. This might just be me, but I do feel the the energy shifting into Westwood's favor. Hopefully but with this yeah. offensive play, Metfield might take that momentum back. Ooh, an awkward ball that stays in for quite a distance. Okay. Ooh. Good idea there. Fitz will take the throw quickly. Jet's not even ready for it. Yeah, he's kind of losing his concentration there. Always have to be looking at the ball. We come Kevin definitely with a very has a chance here shot. on his left foot. Ooh, that's a, That'll that took a dink be a corner off. if it gets out. Yep. It's a midfield corner. Took a dink off the Westwood player. The Westwood bench not happy with that call. I believe that was a goal kick. I don't know if they saw it then. Yeah, I might have been looking the other way. Ooh. Dangerous delivery toward the near post, but Westwood goalie knows better. He gathers that without much of a problem. The Westwood goalie is, I believe, uh, senior Jared Snyder. Seems playing very well tonight. It's a lengthy shot, and Matt Johnson picks up with ease. See if he can get a great punt off this. He throws it short. Jack Fischel passes Brendan White and up the field. Ooh, yeah, a very nice play by Jarrett, but it just goes right back to the Westwood defender. I've already noticed multiple times Jarrett uh, definitely showing his physicality and being able to hold off defenders, and that could be very important later in the game. Yes. He does have a great grasp on the fundamentals. It's another foul on Kevin McCordick. Kevin McCork's strength, really. Kind of a con in this sport. Tosses kids around like it's nothing. Free kick by Westwood, and it is just kicked right out by Brennan Thompson. Kevin McCork has the ball. Tries something. It's a long ball upfield, and it just goes right out of bounds. J.P. Harrison was the intended target. About 19 minutes left in this first half. Score 0-0. Zero, zero. Very exciting game. Long ball to J.P. Harrison. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Goalie's off his line if he can, but no, that's just right end out. Up, end up being a midfield throw. And the Westwood def defenders kicks the ball right in the woods. Throw in by Davis White. Oh, it's got the arc, but does have the distance. It does. Let's see if he can find someone on the. Ooh. Oh, definitely a good chance there for yes. Medfield. The ball seemed to line up perfectly for them. But the Westwood goalkeeper is up to the challenge. Nice defensive play by Davis White. play here from Westwood. They're not giving up possession easily. Oh, it's a nice step that. by Jack Fitzgerald. Seemed to read the play. It's one by Marshall Bushnell. Over to Kevin. He can do things with it here. He lost his speed and strength, see if he can get a shot off, maybe, or just a cross. Seems he was going for the cross, but... Ooh. Still fighting for it. That's going to end up being a Westwood goal kick. Kevin does truly fight to fight until it goes out of bounds. So Westwood goal kick up to the 40. That seems to be an aggressive challenge for the ball, but no call. 
But that was kept in there by Jarrett Lee. There he is. Another play to the, to the corner. They're from Intended JP. for JP Harrison. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Oh, well defended. West, yeah. Westwood's, Westwood's been very successful with their seal outs and whatnot. Oh, Davis, what he does is his own speed to meet that Westwood defender and take the ball away. He makes it look easy, but I can assure you it is not easy at all. I couldn't do that, could you? No. Not at all fast enough. Oh. That's the first time I think I've heard Connor Karoti speak up, and as always, it's polite. Never a pain to hear him. Definitely likes keeping the refs on his side for sure. Yes. Ooh, Brendan Thompson is wide open in the middle there. I think Medford could have really cultivated a play, but a chance attack here. by Westwood to see if. Uh, Ooh, and wide left. Wide. That seemed to be a great. great Definitely chance. a good counter attack there from Westwood. Yes. They seem to be making the most of their cha chances. Medfield definitely seems to be uh, lucking out in terms of uh, Westwood's finishing. They have had more than a few chances now, but haven't been able to finish. Now Johnson attacked the ball there real, really well. Stepped up, and I think he is the reason that went wide left. Seems like Westwood's trying to find their rhythm in this past 30 seconds, but... Doesn't take too long to score a goal. Jarrett Lee here, two on him. He gets it right into the midfield bench. We'll see if he's on the field for much longer after that one. Never want to hit a coach. Another boot out there by Connor. Oh, it doesn't seem to find a midfield striker. Just a Westwood defender, and J.P. Harrison takes up the field. Referee getting in the way there a little bit. Let's see if J.P. Harrison can realize what speed he has. It's just cleared out again by Westwood. Seems Medfield is marching up the field with Westwood's little dinks out of the field. Davis White is coming up the field and again utilize his long throw in. Let's see if Medfield can uh, put anything in the back of the net here. Good throw in, Kevin McCordick. Ooh, he's on the end of that. Let's see if anyone can get there. Let's settle out of the 18. Everyone just seems to be flailing like a fish out of water. It's a Metro throw in. Definitely keeping the pressure on here in midfield. Hopefully there's something at the end of this play. Marshall Bushnell, I think that's gonna be out for a Westwood goal kick. Yes. Not Marshall, too happy with yeah, that call. Marshall's not happy with that call at all. Seems like he does drama with all that acting. <laughs> Mark Bissell, a, a, a sophomore, has checked in. He is over left back, I think? Yes, left back indeed. I think, I'm not sure who made way for him. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Again, wide left for Westwood. Seems they, like yeah, wide they, left they, a lot. Yeah, they favor that side all, all the time. And for goal kick, Connor Curry making himself hurt again. He's trying to get morale up in all the uh, players. Definitely encouraging his team. Redfield not having much luck from the goal kicks. Seem to kick it right to Westwood a lot. And uh, we'll see if they change their game plan. Maybe play it shorter, bring some players back instead of just hoping for that boot all the way up to half because it just doesn't seem to be happening right now. Hopefully Matt Johnson will be able to get those kicks all the way up to half. Never mind. A nice head by Connor Karoti. Jack Fitzgerald steps in, brings it up. Off bounce, 
clear and he just makes it to the 40. See if Brennan White steps up. Back to the Westwood goalie. Kevin's going to put pressure on there. Ooh, and Brennan Thompson Brennan. plays it down. And Mark Bissell coming back. He is keeping up with that defender. Again, all that fancy footwork by Westwood is just doing nothing for their team. Only put them backwards. It's a sub. I believe Sam De senior Sam Denny is coming on for uh, senior captain Brendan Thompson. Goal kick for Medfield. Another long one. Yep, that's the distance they're looking for. Matt Johnson, goalie, his mother's making herself heard, as always at every game. Definitely an encouraging parent. Yes, always has something to say to the refs. About 10 minutes and 20 seconds left here. Ooh, a nice play by Brandon White. Ooh. Been a very back and forth game so far. Yeah. No, uh, no Number 11 from Westwood. On top. Definitely have a chance here from Westwood though if they can get a delivery. Oh, he goes over the top of that defender. Bad communication there from the two Westwood uh, attackers, and that's gathered easily by Matt Johnson, who's going to throw it quickly to Fitzgerald here. It's a man on for Jack Fitzgerald, but he just goes right by him. Sees Jake Pierre's and down the line, a great. It's a great pass up there, but the Westwood goalkeeper calls off his defender and just picks it up. Let's see if they can do anything with this attack. Coach Tolliver on Medfield's side make himself at all. Surprised you can see him, you can hear him perfectly from here. One by Marshall Bushnell, looking for options, and he sees Jack Fitzgerald. Oh. Jack Fitzgerald's wide open, but a defender is quickly on him and it deflects off the defender, out of bounds. Brennan White, it's just, just a safe pass. Marshall Snell, a quick one-time. Really good one-time pass there. Just a route in. Puts it in. Ooh, a nice pass play, a little dink. It's taken down and it's a foul. The midfield crowd there. is not happy at all. Marshall Bushnell, though. Ooh. Great pass. Another chance here. All the calls Westwood's been getting, you think Matthew will get that one too, but it does not seem to be happening. It did definitely look like a foul, but referees didn't call it, and we play on. Josh Previtt just subbed on. Couldn't tell who that was there for a second. I believe that's Kevin McCork that he subbed on for. Kevin's had a great game physically and just passing the ball. Westwood defenders goes by Brennan White and he's just sprinting up the field. Hopefully Connor Curry will be able to stop him. Safe is, defending there yes, from that field. Mark Bissell just dinks it right out of bounds. That is a Westwood sub. Get some fresh players on, hopefully. They're hoping to make most of this throw in. Not confusing. quite the same uh, throw power that Davis White has. Yeah, that's truly just one in 10,000. Jared Lee takes a little, settles it up to JP Harrison, and JP does a little dinky, but. It's a cheeky pass, but not what Medfield needs to. Mm. 
I think Marsh Bushnell definitely it. has the most foot skills on the team. He's definitely up there. Yep. Kevin McCormick back on the field. Josh had a quick shift there. Maybe just get Kevin some rest. Oh, I believe he got some uh, wrapping on his knee there. Ooh, intended for Kevin McCormick, but it is stopped by a Westwood defender. That's a great play by Brandon White. Just wins that header. It's just sending it into the corner, hoping that JP will get there. I think he will. Seems to have been taken down again, but referees aren't having it. And that'll be a Westwood goal kick again. The referees seems to be having worse with some fans. I, I don't know why that ref is so upset. Can't handle bickering from the fans. Maybe that man should find a new profession if he can't handle a little yelling. There's definitely been some yelling today. Both ends of the bleachers here, the parents and the fan section. Honestly, I'm hearing more from the parents, to yeah. be honest. Fitz unable to keep that one in. Maybe a Westwood throw in. Seemed to trap that in the wrong direction. He's kind of led the ball out of bounds. Not the best touch there from Westwood. It's going to be a midfield throw in. More encouragement from Connor. Yeah. Matfield's hoping to ha end this half strong. Hopefully, they can keep the uh, ball in Westwood's half for the remainder. JP showing his physicality there. Ooh, a nice little play. Hopefully, he can keep that in. Just passes right to Westwood. Nice Davis. step by Davis White. And again by Brennan. That was a great step by Brennan White. Just uh, just booted up by Marshall Bushnell. It's a bit confusing, but uh, I don't know what the call is. Either foul or offsides on that field. It was a foul on Kevin, but again, I, yeah. Not much there, so wondering if the referee is building up some bias perhaps against Medfield because he's not agreeing with the fans, but I'm not sure if I should say that. I think that's a, another key point if he needs to find a new profession. If he can't, if he's going to be biased. But that's not for us to decide right now since we, didn't, we know nothing about this man. Uh, Brennan Thompson. Just kicks it out of bounds, safe. I believe Medfield's just playing with a, just a mixture of safety and just, I guess, fundamentals. They tend to kick the ball out and passing. Just hoping to preserve this, this tie and then hopefully attack at the right time. It's interesting attire, the man has a hat on. Again, it goes out. Can't really blame with having a hat. It is pretty chilly out here this yeah. late October. Oh, a nice play by Jack Fitzgerald and Westwood player. Just kicks it out of bounds. Seems Davis White is just coming up fields. Let's we'll see if Jack Fitzgerald gets a message. He does. And the team is preparing for a long throw in again. Wonder if Westwood have identified that Davis does have that cannon of a throw. And I think after 10 throws, Westwood does know about it. Come on. Is there anything off a rebound here? Sent in again, but. Just, just kicked right out, and there's another measure throw. And it just seems Davis White is just switching sides to just take the throw in. Hopefully, Miffy will win this header. Nice Thank job. You. Ooh. And the West with goalkeeper answers again. He's doing a great job of that. A lot of headers for Medfield, but they all seem to be going in the general direction of the goalkeeper for Westwood. Hopefully, if they can get one, uh, 
get a couple more opportunities like that if they can find a corner with it. Yeah, maybe they settle down, get with their head, settle down to their feet and just put one on net. Much easier to shoot than to head it in. Hopefully Matt Johnson can step up here, use it, utilize his speed. He does. Great play by Matt Johnson. Definitely brave goalkeeping there. It's not easy to throw yourself down. Yeah, very right athletic for a goalkeeper. Are. Very, very athletic for a goalkeeper. It's a missed touch by Jack Fitzgerald and just bobbles right out of bounds. A nice step by Brandon Thompson. Ooh, Mark Bissell gets it, but then he immediately loses. And somehow that's a Westwood throw in. This ref continues to confuse me. Short throw from Westwood. Cut out by Kevin. No one there, though. Westwood seems to be cultivating an attack of their own. It's a weird tackle by, well, that's Brandon Thompson, but. Shot on, and a great, great, great save by Matt Johnson. Stops locked dead there. and it's tracks. Not too easy to get down to the turf that quickly and grab yeah. the ball, but with yeah, reactions like his, I guess it is. So hopefully someone steps up here. One back by Fitz. Captain Brennan Thompson. And that's half. The score is 0-0. Very exciting stuff. Definitely some back and forth stuff from the midfield. Right over back to the other side with Westwood. So uh, I wouldn't be too surprised to see a couple goals going in the second half after the uh, players get their halftime talks from their uh, coaches. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to break down the defense. And we're back for the second half of Medfield versus Westwood. It is tied at 0-0. A great first half filled with action. Hopefully we'll get a second half of the same nature. Hopefully same amount of action and even more uh, chances and uh, definitely want to see some points up on the board. Yep. Medfield seems to be out attacking. Just ran right up this field. Pretty similar uh, lineup here, except we do see Josh Previtt in for, I think, JP. Yeah, I believe that is true. Connor Crotty making himself heard, holding it back there. And Davis White just boots that one out. Oh. Ooh, miss a miss kick. From White. Oh, wow. And a distance goal by Westwood. That's definitely a good finish. Yep, a great strike early on in the half. Hopefully this doesn't deflate Medfield. That was amazing, right outside the 18. Off the volley, I believe. Right? It was, yeah. yeah. Just it's an unlucky miscue from Brendan White there. Just couldn't get all of his foot on the ball. But yeah. uh, Medfield were uh, definitely able to show their ability to gain momentum, and uh, hopefully we'll see them do that right here. And uh, hopefully try to limit Westwood's uh, time on the ball here because... They go uh, with the same tactic right off the kickoff. Just have Kevin McCordick run straight down the field, almost like a post route in football. Nice cross-reference there. Yeah. Nice step by Brendan Thompson. My one criticism, as always, for the sport is not physical enough. But then again, it seems to work for everyone in the world, so I can't complain too much. We definitely do see some physicality, though, from players like Kevin and uh, Jared Lee, for yeah. sure, some uh, yeah. holding defenders off and whatnot. So. That's quickly out for a Westwood throw, and Davis is back quickly to defend that. He does well there. Westwood do have another throw in, though. It's a throw in for Westwood. And Mark Best will be stepping up here. Wide right for Westwood. Hopefully, Medfield can get some sort of counterattack here. They do indeed need to win this game in order to make the playoffs. 
a tie or loss will just they will not make the playoffs at all. It'll be very disappointing. This team has been very promising with some, un some unlucky losses early in the season. Another boot out there by Connor. Chance here for Kevin. Ooh, and he just, that's a thats a weird miss, but. Let's the ball sort of roll under his feet yeah, there. Miss mm. nonetheless. Definitely rare from Kevin, usually very good on the ball. Brendan White gets up there to head the ball away from the Westwood defender. Good through ball there from Brendan Thompson. Jarrett Lee can get on the end of it. That'll be a medfield throw. Hopefully he can start something here. Davis I think he's White, gonna leave yep. that for Davis. Yeah, that seems to be the case. They need to get every chance they get to be in the box. And a Davis White throw is definitely a good chance to have. On a distance, but it's Westwood up there. Let's see if Marshall Schnell, he taps it just to Davis White and a Westwood looked defender. Like, looked like a handball to yep. me, but. Then again, the ref hasn't called anything this game. Why would he start now? Good through ball there. Kevin can't get to it though. Ooh, what I'm sure Kevin's doing there. And it's right off the Look like another handball there, but yeah. I mean, you hear Concord getting a bit annoyed. Justifiably. I'd be annoyed if I were a player as well. I'm a bit annoyed and I'm not even a player. Yeah. That's a, be a Westwood unlucky throw. touch by Mark Bissell and his Westwood throw indeed. See, that's out. It's well out of bounds. Surprised there. the ref called that one. Can't blame the uh, Westwood player for trying to keep it in, but that yeah. was well over the line. Ooh, and Kevin Ford seems to be making some attack. Oh, it's a good Ooh, chance. Wide right, a fantastic chance. I believe that was off the goalie. Off the goalie's outstretched hand there, so we will have a midfield corner. Let's see if it's a classic Fitzgerald Bushnell connection. It no, it doesn't not. seem to be. They just want to get everything in the box. No chances. See, no only chances. two midfield players back to defend the counter. Jack Fitzgerald with his... Oop, Kevin McCord racing back. Seems to stick back off. One-on-one. -on -one. Oh, oh, we have two a Westwood ones. defender coming through, and Brendan Thompson meets him. Well cleared oh, out there by Matt great Johnson. Great ball by Matt Johnson. Chance for Josh Previtt, he can connect here. Oh, a nice great through ball, ball in there from Kevin. For Kevin. And that's what a goal! A, a fantastic finish. It's a they tie up the game 1-1. One, one. That was an amazing through ball by Josh Previtt. And Beautiful assist there. Yeah, fantastic finish. The noise is by Kevin. <laughs> getting loud here at uh, Medfield High School turf. That was a beautiful through ball there from uh, Josh Previtt and Kevin one-time volley finish. Not much to complain about there. That was a Not brilliant at all. play. Medfield has been known once they get a goal, they tend to not be able to be stopped. Let's see if we can get one or two more up on the board quick. 34 minutes left in this half. Plenty of time for action. Definitely going to want to keep that momentum going yep, here. Yep. And just like that, Medfield has been reinflated with that quick goal. Out for Westwood. See, Medfield is, you can see the confidence in each player. I think they'll be able to take more chances now now that the game is tied up. They all have that little added skip in their step. Yep. Definitely eager to get another one on the board. Indeed, yes. And if we see another goal, it's even close to as good as that last one. I'd... A great play by Brennan Thompson. Kevin, another chance the here. The fan section is just going wild. A little bit of An pushing and foul. shoving. I don't, and I don't see that one, but then again, I'm 50 yards away from the play, so <laughs> I'm, uh, my eyesight isn't that good. Goal kick, not goal kick, it's a free kick, but by the goalie, Mark Bissell puts Goalie's it right back line. in. Let's see if Josh Previtt, he is... Josh Perfect seems to shine in those, those moments where you don't expect him, and it's just a lovely thing to see. Someone off the bench just making such a big impact in the game. Which perhaps raises the question as to why he is what, typically on the bench, but uh, again, that's definitely not my decision. 
I mean, to relate this to basketball, maybe he's just a, a great sixth man. And in this terms, he'd be a 13th man. He just comes off the bench and just makes a big impact and goes right back on the bench. Absolutely, yeah. Super sub, mm -hmm. as they call it. Yep. See, see if Mayfield can get the ball back here. That was a bad touch by Brendan Thompson and right back to the Westwood defender. What's up? Oh, Mark Bissell getting a bit physical. That's what I love to see. That's an unlucky touch off the Westwood. Ooh, and the dink. Davis showing his physicality there, injured the Westwood player in the process. And he seems to have injured himself. He might be bleeding from the forehead. He's the boy is writhing on the ground. That seems to be, obviously I'm no medical expert, but. So we're back from that little injury break. The players seem to have a head injury. And now there's, the high school sports have definitely taken, well, I mean all sports have taken a great deal of concern with uh, head injuries. Absolutely, testing for concussions is uh, not an odd occurrence now when there's a head injury. Yep. We're back here. Sort of seem to uh, lose some momentum that long break for the injury, but yep. hopefully Medfield can, uh, can find it again. The Westwood, Westwood player seems to be just... Oh, a Beautiful great save by Matt Johnson, and he hops right back up. Wonderful play. He, the players seem to just dance through the defense of Medfield right there. Medfield really needs to plug all those holes that they have. Great pump by Matt Johnson. Sends a very driven pass there to Previtt. Seems it's a head kick. Definitely a high kick from the Westwood player. Seems confused. Not sure what he's complaining about at that point. Uh, you know you committed a foul. Just accept it and move yeah. on. No point in shaking your head. I, I do see soccer players complain all the time, even if it's an obvious foul. But that's just the nature of the player. Jarrett Lee with the kick. Lengthy and it's into the thing. <laughs> and the Western goalkeeper just picks it right up and they'll start their attack. We're gonna kick out to the half. No one seems to be there from Medfield. Cheeky little touch there from the Westwood player. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I believe Sam Denny is coming for Davis White. I don't know, I might be wrong, but I think he was bleeding from the head after that uh, contact with the Westwood player. Westwood substitution, let the clock run a little bit. Great play by Mark Bissell, just to get it right out of bounds. Definitely safe defending there. Ooh, a Connor great Cody play. about to boot it out, but good communication from uh, Matt Johnson, the goalkeeper, and gathers that, and he'll have a punt at it here. And it's a good one, well over half. Wow. To the opponent's 35. He has really been on point with his punts tonight. I believe that's a Medfield throw in. It is. Taking it quickly. JP Harrison's coming on for Josh. Josh, Josh definitely has, made a yeah. huge impact. Massive impact on this game. He gave a great assist over the defense right to Kevin Corder. And Kevin Corder gave a one time volley to the top of the net. Definitely not as easy as it looks, so. Yeah. We're wondering if we'll see Josh in again in this game. I assume we will, because uh, he did do very well in that chance he had. Jarrett Lee calls Sam Denny off the ball. Cork does seem at plenty of options, but not in the direction he wants it to go. And Westwood's won the ball. Nice well settle. Well defended there from Connor Carodi. He does specialize in getting the ball away from his goal, so he does his job well. Good goalkeeping there from the Westwood keeper. Let's 
It's a great head by Kemal Gork, right to Jack Fitzgerald. Watch seems to be getting real aggressive. They're very unhappy that they let up that goal. Metfield seems to take a, a commanding. They seem to just have a hold on this game as of right now. Looks like That's that is going to be a midfield corner. Definitely keeping the pressure up here, midfield. The short option is there with Marshall. Nope, they're actually just switching takers. Wonder if Daniel stays short. No, he does not. Again, I think Medfield's trying to pounce on every option they can get. And it's a great header. Ooh, and the Westwood goalie again makes a great save. Medfield uh, definitely getting a lot of options in uh, terms of headers, but as I said earlier, can't seem to steer them either way, the goalie, but uh, either way, good, good goalkeeping from the Westwood keeper. Mm. Headers are very hard to put one way or the other. You just gotta hope it's the way that the goalie isn't. That's a Danny Shredding speed to get back. Yeah, he's he is a fresh player from Medfield, so hopefully he'll be able to make some decisive plays. Send one through there down the right wing for Westwood, but it's again well defended from Connor. He's having a good game today. To throw for Westwood. And over the net. I think the call is a goal kick, it is. It is a goal kick. Westwood bench is unhappy. Plenty of questionable calls for from the refs all game, but doesn't seem to be biased. Great kick from Johnson right to Sam Denny, but is intercepted by the Westwood defender. And they're starting their own counterattack. One back there from Marshall. Brendan sees Sam Denny. Hopefully Sam get his head up, and he does. He does, a beautiful pass there to Kevin McCordick. Oh, be able to Some nice, be no touch dribbling there. Right, a nice cut into the, hopefully Another he can put it back in. Here. A little higher. That's his weak foot. Amazing. They can find a way to turn it around here. Nice pass there from Sam. I think that will be... The Westwood defender settles it kind of. And oh, it's a midfield throw. Midfield throw or Thought corner? The ref confused. indicated for a throw, but I thought it went out. No, I think the, the uh, Westwood defender uh, settled it and just put it right out just to really inconvenience the midfield team. but. Davis not in for the, uh, the throw. That still was a very good throw there from Sam Denny. Definitely Put a chance here. Ooh, oh. wide left. They, is that a corner? I believe that's, that's a corner. Metro corner. Just want to get the ball to the corner as fast as possible. They're probably going to play this one short. They do here. Marshall Bushnell along the sideline. Into the middle. Oh. Ooh. Plenty of chances for Medfield as of right now. Some claims for handball. Ball went out of bounds there, so that's going to be a Westwood goal kick. Yep. Definitely a good chance there for Medfield, though. We see the momentum definitely uh, shift, shifting back into Medfield's favor. Yep. I forgot to mention this earlier. To put Kevin's shot speed in perspective, early in the season, before the season started, he broke a, a younger player's wrist with a shot as a goalkeeper. And, I think he fractured the wrist, just amazing. Something I've never seen done before. Definitely does pose a threat to the, uh, the goalies and the, uh, the other team's goalies there if he does shoot it with his full strength. This is a bit of arguing on the field. And I seems to be given to Westwood. Referee on the far side is not having uh, any of the talking back from the coaches or the fans for that matter. 
uh, definitely. Uh, he is all business. Definitely all business. In some cases, I do appreciate it, but it does get a bit annoying. Not sure what the whistle's for there. Oh, now so, it's been called back as a medfield throw. Interesting, just turn of events right there. A sell with the chest by Marsh Bushnell, but can't really do anything with it. Midfield defenders rushing back. I think that's Brennan White and is that Jarrett Lee? Yeah, Stop rushing by back. Stop by Connor Cody. He's West was trying to make something of this attack. Matt Johnson with the stop. He is a brick wall. Definitely lucky the Westwood player didn't get a better touch on it, and he was there to pick up the pieces. High kick. Kevin put pressure on it, lets it bounce. Marsh Bushnell settles it, puts in the corner, intended for Jack Fitzgerald. I believe Jack Fitzgerald has the best cardiovascular endurance on the team. I don't think he's been subbed at all this game, or any game for that matter. Yeah, it's definitely rare to see him not on the field. He is going hard through the entire game and is a Chance very- Chance for here. Ooh, uh, well a hard kick. That was a great chance for Kevin. That's, that's where you want to see Kevin McCordick right there. Sort of edge of the box on his left foot. Yeah, definitely the shot power he yeah. has there. His specialty is definitely the volley. He seems to always have a great grasp on the accuracy with those. He has broken wrists in the past. Yeah, so watch out for your wrists. <laughs> Hear a lot of encouragement from the midfield bench. Definitely excited to see uh, every attack we have. It's been a great chance for all of them. Hopefully Matt Johnson can come out here and stop it. He does, edge of the box. Not too much pressure on him there. And hopefully each player will be able to turn. A great kick seems to be going to Kevin McCordick. That's no call. Great call by the refs. Definitely some questionable calls there. Yeah. I don't think anyone would have argued too much if that was called against Kevin. He did sort of body the player a little bit, but it uh, wasn't called and they played on. Yeah, it's, it was kind of involuntary, so you can't call something if it's an accident, but stranger things have happened. <laughs> nice one-time pass. Ooh, a nice play by Kevin Cordick. He puts it on net, questionable decision there. He had two players that were crashing the net. Seems J.B. Harrison has checked in. He has yet to make a mark on the match, but don't count him out just yet, folks. He always seems a way to find the back of the net. Chance here from Westwood, Ooh. cut out there by Connor. He's making good on his promise to cut those chances out. I believe his quote was to boot them all out. Boot them all out. Chance JB here from Harrison. JP. He cuts in. Cuts into so his right anything. foot. Ooh. Dribbles Ooh. into the Plenty Westwood player. of defenders player. in his way, and he can't seem to wait. Oh, that's, that's a great that's tackle. That's a dive by. there from Westwood, but Mark Bissell able to clean it up. Yeah, Mark Bissell does not take trash from anyone. He's definitely not afraid to get down. Uh, yep. He's a great player that, now that should be a foul, and it is called a foul. Great call by the refs. There's no touch on the ball. Marshall Bushnell, you see him draw fouls quite often. He's not afraid to, uh, you know, get, get in the, dirt, the way yeah. of the, uh, the defender and just get his, you know, leg clipped here and there. And very good at winning free kicks. It's a kick from the 25, and it's in. Kevin seems to be, ooh, not a strong kick. Can't go back out to Kevin. No, it does not, but to Jack Fitzgerald, who puts it in. JP. And he it's finds the back of the net, as I said earlier. JP Harrison always finds the back of the net. It is amazing what he can do. Wow. Medfield fans are loving it. JP's loving it. Yep. JP feeds off the energy. I'm glad he does as well. That's going to be 2-1 to Medfield with about 18 minutes left to play. 
Plenty of time left, and the bench is ecstatic. Manager Cole McQuillan, happy as always. He's been a very passionate observer of the game. Yep, through the entire season. And that is a timeout called. The fans are happy, the players are happy. Let's see if we can capitalize and get another goal. We're back from the timeout. Medfield had just scored with 18 minutes left in the game. The score is now 2-1. See if they can keep the momentum going despite the timeout. Westwood seems to have just strengthened their offense. They're out to a quick start right now. Seems to be five people on the offense. And it is assuming Kevin Cork is there. Very few defenders. He, hopefully you can see JP up the field. He does. See if JP can track that ball down. Very high pass. Oh, JP, can he? No, can't. Comes out Jack Fitzgerald, it's a great touch, great first touch. It's a bit of a high kick there, but the refs did not see that. Well, nice cut touch. Out there from midfield. The energy is definitely apparent here. Yep, ooh, that's a... Kevin McCordick with the touch. He has been a pivotal player this game with the goal and just many, many solid plays offensively and defensively. Miss cue there from Marshall Bushnell. Jerry Lou's a bit Jared. of a menacing fake right there. <laughs> Definitely faked out the, uh, the attacker on the ball there to let it roll out for the uh, midfield throw in. Okay, they both seem to have lost the ball, but Kevin utilizes his strength. Ooh, claims that's a nice handball. play. Not sure what the claims are on. That's confusing. I believe that's, that that has, that. I believe that's offsides on Kevin McCordick. I believe, was that an offside call? Yes. Westwood is unhappy beyond belief with the, they believe it was a handball on Kevin and then a foul on, foul by Kevin, but not called. They get the offsides call. The Westwood bench definitely should uh, perhaps quiet down just a little bit. We know this referee does not like too much yelling. Yeah. We saw him yelling at the Medfield fan section earlier in the game. Chance for Sam Denny here. He has the speed to get there. Risky sliding challenge there, but works out in the end. It's going to be a midfield throw-in. Sam Day is another player with great fundamental skills. I believe that that's Matt Gorog getting subbed on for JP. A junior, a great player. Do you, has he scored this season? I, I couldn't tell you, to yeah. be honest. Whether he has or not, I think he definitely needs to make an impact tonight. Yeah. Sam Dane with his own long throw, and it is a, yeah, miss hit by the Western player in his corner. Medfield has been working on the corners at practice. I know that for a fact. Hopefully they can finally capitalize on this one. Maybe another play like JP's goal, where it is out to the 18 and just fires it back into the net. A great play. A play there. Ooh, and it's scooped up by the Westwood goalie. Definitely a routine. You can tell they practiced that. A lot of movement in the box before the kick. Yep. Worked out well, but the again, the header wasn't able to find a corner. Headed off the bounce by J Jarrett Lee. Marshall getting up for a nice header. Sam Dane just seems to be booty into the Westwood zone. Questionable, questionable decision, but it works out in the end. Brendan White's there to stop that play. Right to Matt Gorog. It was a smart idea to give it back to Jack Fitzgerald. Ooh, and just missed pass and right to the Westwood offense, and they making a play themselves. 15 minutes left. Score is 2 1. Let's see if Medfield can hold this. in the box. It's a great play in the box by Jarrett Lee. He has just been a brick wall back there. Ooh, that's really... another foul by Kevin McCordick. It's a questionable challenge. Jarrett Lee definitely been all over the field. He's one of those players who you'll see coming back on defense and making his way forward. Yep. Definitely he loves to see the ball. Definitely uh, high stamina on him to be able to run back and forth. The Metro fans yeah. pointing out that the ball was Parents seem to be knowing more about the game than the rest, I guess. Westwood had placed the ball about five yards too far forward. Whether that was accidental or on purpose, I'd prefer not to know. 
They'll send it's it a in. Nice chip way. in and hopefully Matt John oh Matt Johns can't get there. It stops short. That's a bit of a push. And that's Medfield's ball. The Westwood player just pushed right off of I believe Matt Gorelick's back. And that's a foul. A great kick again by Matt Johnson. And taps around and it's out. It is out of bounds for a Westwood throw in. Taken pretty quickly there by Westwood. Kevin, Kevin take, putting himself in the middle. Kevin breaks away from the defender. Let's see if he can do anything here. Might just take it to the corner, see if he can do anything there. Oh, they seem to be getting very physical with Kevin. They do not like. Yeah, that's. Two defenders on him, and he's still, they still struggle to get the ball off him. Just his physicality showing there. Yeah, it's just pure strength. You have to pry the ball away from him. Denny fighting to keep the ball in, but. So Wes would throw in. Ooh, nice great play, play with Mark Bissell. Bissell definitely making an impact. He came on late in the first half, and he hasn't, I don't think he's been off since. Oh, he's proving to be a, he was actually moved up from uh, JV soccer to varsity just a couple, like three weeks ago. He has been making so. good on his chances. Definitely uh, proving yeah. the coach's decision yep. to be a good one. He, I believe he's been on the first uh, team ever since. Ooh. Question play, that's a push. Whose ball is it? To Medfield's ball, free kick. Marshall, Marshall Schnell will be taking it from the 20 yard line. Said earlier he was good at winning free kicks. Let's see how he is at delivering them. Hopefully, uh, ideal situation would probably be swung in right around the six yard box. Yep. Right on the head of Ooh, maybe Kevin. Right there. Ooh, but the Westwood defender is up for the challenge. Good hustle there from Brendan Thompson just to get to it, not allow Westwood to counterattack. Brendan Thompson definitely plays the role of a more supporting captain. He, you don't see him in shooting very often, but he is creating plays, keeping the morale up. Great stuff all around. Definitely more of a creator yep. than a finisher. And that is necessary to a team of this caliber. Westwood, Westwood defender in the corner. That's a great play. Out. Very risky there from uh, Matt Johnson Dude, to let that corner. one go. Confusing. The, the ref closest to the ball seems to be changing his verdict from the ref that's furthest from the ball. Never seen that done before. Questionable refereeing yep. there, but. Remember, it's a Westwood corner with 10 minutes left in this game. The score is still 2-1. This is definitely a test of Medfield's uh, defending of set pieces. You see Matt Gorog there. He is it's just... shorter than the man he's marking, but definitely uh, keeping up to standard on terms of physicality. Great play, and hopefully Brent Thompson's up top. Questionable the decision hit. there. Seems to be hit with the outside of his foot, so it, is, it shanked and just went yes. to the left. He shanked it out to the left. It's a Metro throw in. That lengthy throw in, I just have to assume that that was Davis White taking it, but I might be wrong. So that's a great. Tap by, ooh, Mark Bissell just seems to be cowering away from the ball. Not what you want to see in a defender. Brennan White's quick to it though. Matt Johnson here with the goal kick. A lengthy kick up to the half. Ooh, it's an interesting hit off both their heads. Through the front, the Westwood kid's face, the back of McElroy's head, kind of like a pinball machine. Wide right for the Westwood player. It's a goal kick for Medfield. Come on, White, work it hard, White! I believe that's Matt Conroy. 
in at left mid. midfield. Yep, I left mid. He's a great personality on the team. Always love to see him at practice and in games. He's up there. Oh, he just misses. That's to Comes Kevin. To just Kevin. to Kevin. Man behind and a man in front of him. Okay. The Medfield parents Hits expressing the their great displeasure. I believe it hit the corner flag. And deflected off Kevin and hit the corner flag, so that's a Westwood goal kick. About eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the game here. Medfield Very exciting. Let's see if Medfield can hold it. But to keep in mind that eight and a half minutes is a very long time. Confusing call by the ref. It's a Westman throw-in. Confusing yep. indeed. Yep. No time to complain. You gotta play, play with the whistle. Cheeky little back heel pass there from Westwood player. Matt Connor is staying with him well. Yep, and see if the Metro defenders can step up. Ooh, that's a bad decision by the Westwood defender. And so Medfield Kevin throw does in. well to win the Medfield throw. Yeah. Josh Previtt coming back on. For Matt Gorog. Josh Previtt for Matt Gorog. Let's see if Josh can get another assist or a goal for himself. Definitely does make an impact when he's on the field. Yep. Ooh, a nice play by Kevin. He just... No matter what side of the play he's on, he's just always there, always a threat. Always fighting for oh, the a ball. A nice settle well. by Josh and a nice little dink. He's just, Josh Pepper always just sets the play up very nicely. Kevin McCordick in the Showing corner. His strength again. Weak foot in off Josh Previtt's. Uh, it's just a bad touch. Let's Marshall see Bushnell they... seems to always be there when the ball's rolling out of the box. He's always in the right place to. Uh, to keep the ball in. The crowd uh, displeased with that push on Matt Conroy. The ref seemed to be no attention to it. And now it's a Westwood throw in. Timeout for Westwood. Let's see if Medfield can keep up the momentum and hold off Westwood. It is 2 1 with six and a half minutes left in this game. We're back to the action. Oh, seems to have some time to put back in the clock. It's now seven minutes, but again, 30 seconds can make all the difference. I believe we have the same lineup in for Medfield after the timeout. Yeah, Jarrett Lee just jumped and just fell right there. Another good tackle there from Connor. That's a Westwood throw in off Kevin Cordick. Westwood throw it into the corner. Let's see if they can play some safe defending. Don't want to, don't want to foul in the box. They, they took that chance early in the game, and they're relieved that Westwood hit it wide left. Good hustle there from Josh to make sure the Westwood player didn't get to the ball there. Definitely buying the defenders some time to catch their breath. You can see that Medfield is definitely taking a more defensive approach. The bulk of their team, I believe at least eight of the ten field players are now just behind the 20 yard line defending this lead they have. It's all about defending the lead yeah. in the last Josh five Perrett or six comes minutes. in clutch again, just kicks it out of the midfield half. Hard. Oh, Great play by Jarrett Lee. Brent Thompson kicks it out of the midfield half again. Hopefully midfield will be able to get it all the way down to the Westwood goalie just to catch their breath fully. Ooh. Not a moment's rest here for the Medfield defenders. Well, they're stepping up and they're just coming in clutch, all of them. Really being cohesive towards the end of this game. Into the Westwood corner. Cohesive. It's a Medfield throw in. We'll see if Jack Patel can spot Marshall Bishnell before he gets picked up. Doesn't, but that's okay. All they need to do is just hold onto the ball with five minutes left.
the tension, I believe, for me at least, it's at an all-time high this game. Five minutes left. Medfield needs to win this game to ensure a spot in the playoffs. Definitely. If they tie or lose, they are out. Definitely high pressure here for the players. Yep. One goal lead is not much to go off of, but... It is a lead nonetheless. Definitely. Uh, Connor stepping up again. Let's see if they can get the, the ball out of this half. Ooh. Kevin doing the best he can there, but yep. most of his teammates are behind him. So Good play. Step up by Connor Carody. So West with throw-in. Seems they have their throw-in specialist. Takes off his gloves. Interesting. Gets more grip on the ball. Medfield seems to just be looking for defenders to defend. At least five of them just not doing anything right now. Well done by Mark Bissell just to hold off the defender there. It is going to be a Westwood corner, though. Ooh, they are putting everyone they have in the box. Substitution for Westwood. Sam Denny is coming in for, I yeah, believe. as well. Didn't notice that. <laughs> Looks like going it's going for be... Kevin McCordick, who has been a pivotal player, but he needs rest. He can't play the full 80 minutes. Also, Sam is more of a more of a defensive player compared to Kevin, so... Yeah, we'll see if he can come in clutch. Ooh, it goes through to the other side. It's going to be That's another, another corner. corner. Brendan Thompson. Just over three minutes left in this game. We'll see if Medfield uh, try to keep possession and yep. keep the clock running uh, without uh, Westwood getting a touch on it. But for now, we have a Westwood corner. Let's we'll see if they can get it out. A great well play out by who I believe is Matt Conroy. Was. Sam Denny's out there. He's fresh legs. He is just, you don't see usually someone sprinting at full speed at the end of the game because they're gassed. But because he's off the bench, he's able to do that. Uh, that's a Westwood. Wide. I think that's gonna a Westwood corner again. Call out a Westwood corner. Deflected off that defender, who I believe again was Matt than, Conroy. A bit less than two and a half minutes here. The clock uh, on the scoreboard will stop at two minutes, so I won't be able extra to. Time. Uh, won't be able to tell you how much time is left, but about to have under two minutes left in the game. It's reached out to the other side of the field. That's a Westwood, Westwood throw in. Throw. A lot of pressure being applied by Westwood here. Connor. Miscommunication. Oh, wide right. Jarrett Lee heads they're it gonna, out of bounds. Another, call that a Westwood corner. another Westwood corner. I must have missed something. I thought no. that that was a. Nope. Jarrett Lee headed that out of bounds. Let's see. Almost an own goal. Would have been very crushing for this team. Tension is very high here for Medfield. Up in the air. See if we can get Need to this. Someone to get rid of it. Over. It's kicked over. The field goal is good. <laughs> over the uh, upright there. We have officially hit the two minute mark. Gonna be a last minute sub. Kevin. In for, that's Kevin. In for Sam Denny. That's Just very quick drink. sub. Stretches our le mu uh, leg muscles out a yep. little bit there. Just got a little refresh and he needs, he's out there. Kevin is one of the hardest workers on the team. The whole team is hard workers, but it's a medfield throw in. Hearing some uh, argument oh, from the West. Oh, that's a medfield coach. kick, I believe. Now, this is exactly what the team needs. They just need a big kick into the Westwood zone, keep it in there for as long as possible. Clock, Hopefully, this is all time that is being, uh, for lack of a better word, wasted here. Yep. Uh, which is what Medfield need. We really just want to reach that final whistle at this point. It's all about defending the one goal lead. Josh Previtt with a very, very good touch on the ball. Um, ooh, a miss. Right back to the goalie. That's what we wanted beforehand. That definitely buys the defenders some time. Yep. And it's going to be... That seems to be a Conroy's nice step by the there. Yep. But a nice touch for him to send Kevin down the left wing. Kevin keeps it in. Ooh, 
That's a controversial call. I do not think the ref could have been able to tell if the ball was completely over the line from that angle. But yeah, he is not a robot. He cannot tell. <laughs> he definitely is not. That's going Let's to be go. The That's game. Whistle. Netfield wins. Netfield and win. they are in the playoffs. They secure that spot in the playoffs. Their next game is Thursday against Bellingham. And they defeated Bellingham, I believe, by a score of 5 to nothing. So hopefully they'll be able to repeat that in the postseason. It will be theirs. Double receivers both left and right. Let's see a little Williams action. Yeah. 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 Justin Hirschfeld, left team, Robert Trevor.